Hi guys, thanks very much for watching my channel, The Great Apostate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm pointing over here, I should be pointing over here. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, first of all, I want to, uh, to tell you why I'm making this video. Uh, I saw a video of it that was very, very positive, and I thought I'd love to make my own version for, um, for my particular audience. And it's about this year. This year's been a doozy, hasn't it, so far? It's not over yet, but boy, so many bad things happening in such a short period of time. No, I mean, I remember back when I was a kid and I saw, was it the Challenger or the Discovery, the space shuttle blow up? Uh, not the last one, but the one, the, you know, the first one with the teacher on board. Uh, and I remember that feeling as a kid as it went off. I remember the feeling of finding out about the Twin Towers uh, being destroyed. But it seems like this, this year particularly, it's like that, you're getting that grotesque feeling every week. And it, it's miserable. You must, you can easily convince yourself into thinking that things are getting worse. And, and I've had this discussion with a lot of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and many ex-Jehovah's Witnesses who think that the, the world is getting worse and we need something. If it ain't the Jehovah's Witnesses, what's it going to be? Well, this really, it really grinds my gears. And I'll tell you why. Because the Jehovah's Witnesses are, they don't care about the world. They don't care if it's getting worse or getting better. All they care about is selling the idea that it's getting worse, okay? They are what I would call misery pimps, okay? The world, they've got to sell the message because they have nothing to offer. They have nothing to offer, no joy in their life, no joy in their organization, certainly no truth in it. And instead of trying to improve things, what they have to do is bring the whole world down below their crappy low level so that people can think that this is a better option for them. So. Let's see if we can do a little proof of that to find out what Jehovah's Witnesses think about uh, the world. Now, I've gone to the JW.org website. I've excluded the Bible from my search, history, my search criteria. And I've just typed in the search phrase, getting worse. Okay? And let's see what the Jehovah's Witnesses have got for me. And click. There we go. I have 95 pages of results. 15 pages, or 15 answers to a page. So... Quick multiplication, and that result tells us that the Jehovah's Witnesses have said that things are getting worse at least 1,425 times. So, either things are really, really bad for a long time, or the Jehovah's Witnesses want you to think it is. Now, I don't want you to think it is. Sure, there's trouble. There always has been. There always will be. But let's look at some of the positive things, the things that you won't find out in the Watchtower, the things that you won't be told. Moving right along. India has just planted 50 million trees in one day. They broke the previous world record of 847,275 trees uh, that had been set by Pakistan in two, 2013. It took 800,000 volunteers to complete the job. That's about 51 trees per volunteer. 50 million trees. That's going to help with deforestation, isn't it? Solar-powered planes can now fly all the way around the world. Just imagine... We're only 100, 120 years from the Wright brothers. Is it even 120 years? I don't think so. And we can now have solar powered planes flying right by the way around the world. That is absolutely fantastic. We are making amazing progress in space and the Juno spacecraft has just... Oh, NASA successfully landed the spacecraft Juno on Jupiter. Oh my goodness. The tiger population is finally increasing. How many times have you heard about tiger rugs being the bane of the world. Now you get more tiger rugs. No, I'm only kidding. 22% increase in tiger population. Isn't that great? We are now making strides in ALS research. That's right, the ice bucket challenge was a success, guys. Amazing medical research is happening all over the world. We are having new breakthroughs in lung and brain cancer. New chemotherapy breakthroughs have increased the five-year survival for pancreatic cancer from 16 to 27%. Brilliant. We are having great luck with Ebola, which is now nearly gone. Uh, and now that we've also have systems in place that can speed up the delivery of vaccines around the world. Scientists have also figured out how to link robotic limbs with the part of the brain that deals with intent to move so people don't have to go move. They just have to think about it. And the robot arm will move. Also, wonderful news. Child mortality is down everywhere across the globe. It keeps going down. And there are now more children living through childhood than at any time in human history. Pokemon Go! I hate that game. It's connecting people to their communities in a meaningful way. 
an animal shelter in Muncie, Indi Indiana, I think so, reportedly encouraged players to walk their shelter's dogs while playing the, do playing the game. Brilliant. What's this? Oh, neonatal tetanus and a disease called yaws have been eliminated in India. Isn't that brilliant? And our space agency has successfully tested reusable launch vehicles. What fantastic news. SpaceX is also successfully landing its own boosters and we are one step cure, or closer to curing cancer with a gene therapy called CRISPR case nine. Where is it? Well, I lost it. Where'd it go? I'm so close. CRISPR case nine technique. Let's see if there's any more good news in the world. Paraplegics regaining muscle control thanks to virtual reality therapy. Breakthrough treatment in lab grown corneas cures blindness in sheep. In all fairness, we probably blinded the sheep first. Olympic runner didn't leave each other's side despite injured ankle. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Physicists may have discovered a previously unknown fifth, fourth, fourth, fifth force in nature. That's right. It's my wife when I have not done what she told me to do. Women who escaped ISIS slavery create trained battalion to fight back and rescue others. Their motto should be a severed penis. Good girls, well done you. Community unites to clean up neighborhood after Milwaukee riots. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, the world is full of good news stories. Don't let the Jehovah's Witnesses fool you. If you're watching this and you are a Jehovah's Witness, there's always going to be bad news. Don't buy into the lie that things are getting worse. Things can only get better. Thank you very much for watching.